Hi students, last class we discussed about adsorption and its types. So now we are going to discuss about the difference between the two types of adsorption. So there are two types of adsorption. One is chemical adsorption. The next one is physical adsorption. So last class we discussed about what is adsorption. So adsorption is a surface phenomenon. It occurs at the interface between two phases. One of the phase molecules are present in higher concentration at the interface. Then the substance is said to be adsorbed. Now the difference between chemical adsorption and physical adsorption. Chemical adsorption is a slow process because chemical bond is formed between the adsorbent and adsorbate. Hence it is a slow process. Physical adsorption is a quick process so it is termed as an instantaneous process. Chemical adsorption is specific. It depends on nature of adsorbent and adsorbate. The specific term is explained here in the next phrase. It depends on the adsorption depends upon the nature of adsorbent and adsorbate. So you know what is an adsorbent and what is an adsorbate. An adsorbent is the surface where the adsorbate molecules are getting adsorbed through chemical bonds. Then this is called as chemical adsorption. And here physical adsorption is non-specific. Here also adsorbent adsorbs the adsorbate but it forms several layers and there exists Van der Waals force of attraction between the adsorbent and adsorbate and not a chemical bond is formed. The third point is it, it is a, a it's a, a rate of the reaction increases that is if the reaction becomes fast with increase in pressure. See what is the effect of pressure on chemical adsorption and physical adsorption. Chemical adsorption, the effect of pressure, the chemical adsorption becomes faster. The adsorption is not increased. Previously, uh, 10 molecules are adsorbed. Now, 100 molecules are adsorbed due to increase of pressure. It is not that uh, kind. Actually, the chemical adsorption becomes faster. The rate increases. Whereas in physical adsorption, increase in pressure increases adsorption. So now previously 100 molecules are adsorbed, now 500 molecules are adsorbed. It increases adsorption. And the fourth point, what happens when the temperature is increased? When the temperature is increased, adsorption first increases and then decreases. Initially it uh, seems like increasing, but later it decreases. Whereas in physical adsorption, decrease with the adsorption decreases with increase in temperature. Adsorption is not increased. See, you just imagine the molecules are clinging on to, the adsorbate molecules are clinging on to adsorbent. When the temperature is increased, when it is heated, the Van der Waals forces gets broken up and the molecules are free to move. It moves away from the adsorbent. So, the physical adsorption decreases with increase in temperature. And the fifth point, this adsorption, I already told you, chemical bond is formed between the adsorbate and adsorbent. So, how a chemical bond is formed? That is transfer of electrons. So, it involves transfer of electrons between adsorbate and adsorbent. Here, there is no transfer of electrons because just a Force of attraction exists. So, then there is no transfer of electrons. And the next point is heat of adsorption is high. That is the heat energy change accompanied by adsorption, by this process, by chemical adsorption is high. Heat energy change will be of the order of 40 to 400 kilojoule per mole. Whereas 
heat of adsorption is very low. The heat energy change involved is very low because there is no formation of bond. Just the molecules are getting adsorbed by Van der Waals force of attraction. So there is no formation of bond. Less amount of energy is utilized. So the heat of adsorption is very low. The change in heat content of the system will be around 40 kilojoule per mole. And the seventh point, unimolecular layer, mono layer of the adsorbate is formed. I already told you about this. So there is only one layer of the molecules gets adsorbed on to the surface. Here multi layers of the adsorbate is formed on the adsorbent. So this is also explained previously. And next, it occurs at fixed sites called active centers. See for example, this is the catalyst. The active centers, there are free bonds present at the cracks and corners of the catalyst. These free, at these free bonds, the adsorbent molecule, adsorbate molecules gets adsorbed. Okay, so it is called active centers. So adsorption depends upon the surface area. This free bonds will, will be, number of bonds will be more when the surface area of the adsorbent is more. It occurs on all sides. It need not require a free bond because no bond is formed between the adsorbent and adsorbate. So it occurs on all sides. The next point is it involves the formation of activated complex with appreciable activation energy. See, activated complex in the sense the adsorbent molecule adsorbs the adsorbate molecule okay and it forms a complex structure it is called as an activated complex here the energy consumed is appreciable so only the heat of adsorption is high here activation energy is insignificant no, such amount of energy is not consumed in the case of physical adsorption so this point you can relate with uh, the heat of adsorption point heat of adsorption is change in heat content of the system the change in heat content of the system depends upon the energy consumed during the process so here the energy consumed is more so only it is said that it involves the formation of activated complex with appreciable activation energy so because the energy consumed is more the heat of adsorption is more the change in heat content is more here the energy uh, activation energy is insignificant okay so it is not a considerable amount of energy is not required so you can say that heat of adsorption is low so you can easily remember uh, this is a five mark question it may also come in three marks you can write only four points for that that is enough if it is a five mark question you can write six to seven points altogether nine points are there so you can easily remember the reaction, the differences between having the key points. What are the key points? Slow. First key point is slow and opposite fast. Specific, non-specific. Increase in pressure does not increase adsorption but speeds up the reaction. Here increase in pressure increases adsorption. Increase in temperature, adsorption first increases and then decreases decrease with increase in temperature involves transfer of electron no transfer of electron heat of adsorption is high heat of adsorption is low and the next point mono layer is formed multiple layers are formed occurs at active centers occurs on all sides involves the formation of activated complex with appreciable activation energy Activation energy is insignificant. So that's all about the key points. These key points you have to remember for studying about the difference between chemical adsorption and physical adsorption. Parents, see to that your child learns the differences between physical and chemical adsorption. After the, out of the nine points, if they write and show you seven points, that will that is enough. Thank you.